And this is the first half of my two-teamer. Braves laying 210. Uh, that total sitting at nine, a little bit of juice on the under. That one about a buck 20. Uh, but, you know, Kyle Wright, as of now, showing no signs of regression. Didn't really think he would if he got off to another good start. Haven't found any signs yet of regression. And the Braves have won each of his last six starts, nine of his last 10. In fact, you know, I was going back when I was handicapping this game. If you go back his last 13 starts, you'll see that Wright has a 291 ERA, a buck 16 whip to go along with an 0.9 home runs per nine innings pitched ratio. He, he doesn't give up the long ball. He always looks like he's in control. He never has control issues uh, and what doesn't walk a lot of guys, few walks for this guy. He owns decent hard hit and barrel rate numbers, guys. And he's been fantastic his first three times through a batting order. It's kind of funny when I'm looking to play. I've talked about this before. When I'm looking to play a first five under or I'm looking to play a first five side, I'm, I'm looking for a guy to, to do well his first two times through the batting order. This guy, he's he's phenomenal his first three times. So he does stand, uh, uh, tend to stick around a little bit more than a lot of starting pitchers when he starts a game. Arizona's been better of late, but they've been middle of the pack on the road against righties this season. I, I don't believe they'll score enough runs with Madison Garner on the mound to back him up. He's got a hefty FIP. Hard hit percentage is kind of big, along with a road ERA. Approaching five, a whip of about a buck 50 away from home. His team has won, what, seven of their last 26 on the road, including losing all of Bum Garner's last four road start so jeff i'll toss this one at you i'm back in the braves the first half of my two-teamer yeah i have no issue with it i thought initially maybe taking a shot with under nine here i kind of agree with you i think atlanta will score more, most of the runs and arizona will struggle uh look i've talked about the word crafty when it comes to Bumgarner. look on the road though i don't really have much interest especially against a team in atlanta who hit lefties well um you know, that said, I mean, at nine, when I have Arizona, one of the better under teams in baseball, I leaned under. But Wright's terrific. A real good guy to back. A guy I would definitely want to throw in a parlay. And I think this game screams like 6-2. I, I think Atlanta kind of has no problem here with a run line. I, I like the way you're playing it as well. Mark, any agreement here or disagreement? I'm on the totally in agreement with you, Scott. And I, But I got to give props out to T.C., because he was ahead of the curve on Kyle Wright. And Wright's been tremendous this year. I've got him in the model 14th best pitcher in baseball. He's got a great stuff plus number, 76 percentile stuff plus number. And contrast him with Bumgarner, who's, who's pitched up to the first three letters in his last name by my numbers. And uh, he's uh, 132 out of 150 pitchers in baseball. And uh, if you look at his stuff, plus number it's a 17 percentile and I just want to kind of get into detail about Kyle Wright and how good he's been at home uh the last two starts expected triple x era 1.88 1.83 median triple x era 2.441 uh, at home and then the base winner era 2.90 so that there's just some really good numbers behind Wright um, there's some interesting numbers for Arizona in this game. You know, Arizona's ISO power on the road. I don't think you would you would know this. Anybody, I didn't know it until I saw it. They're third in baseball, isolated power on the road. Now, having said that, their walks divided by strikeouts, their play discipline uh, versus left-handed pitching, and you touched on that, Scott. Uh, they're weaker versus left-handed pitching in both BBK and isolated power, but uh, it, it's pretty drastic in, in their play discipline. Uh, they're 20th in baseball, 0.37 BBK, and then they have a 0.44 BBK versus right-handed pitching. So uh, for this game, I'm going to play against – it's a personal play of me. I'm going to play against Arizona, but I may look on Saturday and Sunday – to play over the team total. I think that their offensive numbers are pretty intriguing. And then add that, I didn't even talk about how bad the Arizona bullpen is, but there's multiple metrics that will prove that, uh, how bad they've been. And uh, so you get that going for you too. And, and uh, you know, the Braves, I, I was trying to find a play to, to, to tie it into a part. I like how you're doing that. I couldn't. I, I just, there's too many mixed things on that Houston game that you're going to talk about. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice little uh, preview and segue into that. I was just going to say, you know, Mad Bum's a cantankerous old man, which I got no problem with that. I'm an old man, too, and I can be a little cantankerous, you know, from time to time. Maybe not swinging my fist at the air when the kids ride by on the sidewalk, but on uh, their bikes. But, you know, Mad Bum's got that in him. And if I hit one out, 
if I'm Atlanta and I get one out, I'm celebrating, man. I'm doing everything I can to get under this guy's skin. They're they're in a pennant race, you know, when you talk about the Atlanta Braves. And he has shown the ability to lose his cool more than once over the last couple of years, as we saw in a recent start, losing his cool on a home run hit. And uh, I, I think you do everything you can. And, you know, if he's not going to be Bob Gibson, he's not going to be the next guy up at the plate. And all he's going to do is whine after the game is over. I'm trying to get under his skin a little bit if I get a chance, and, and the Braves will have that chance. I, they'll probably remain classy and and go around the bases without trying to, you know, poke a little fun at him or whatever, or jab him a little bit. But, uh, again, I just think between the way he throws on the road, as Jeff mentioned, the way this bullpen is, as you mentioned, Mark, that it's the Braves in this game or nothing. 